Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. Charmaine Mzre Andrew, an associate professor for pediatrics and pediatric gastroenterologist. Dr. Mzre Andrew, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Today we're going to discuss chronic abdominal pain uh, and the functional GI disorder. Uh, doctor, what is chronic abdominal pain? So chronic abdominal pain is really just belly pain or um, that lasts longer than then three weeks or so, and you start worrying about it, you start to evaluate uh, for it because there may be other reasons why one has abdominal pain that is protracted. And is there something that trends to keep this ongoing? Well, it depends. So some people may have constipation and have abdominal pain. Some people may have uh, uh, inflammation of the bowel and have abdominal pain. Some patients may have an infection and have abdominal pain. Some people may be stressed uh, more commonly now and have ongoing abdominal pain and they can have a combination of all these things um, with a stressor. So abdominal pain that lasts longer than three, four weeks uh, needs evaluation uh, and certainly to be able to reassure the families um, whether there should be concern or not. Is there anything that could possibly make it worse? You've mentioned stress and anxiety. Is anything else? Also, you know, if they have other symptoms, other signs that are showing up with the abdominal pain, if the child is not growing, if the child is losing weight, if the child is probably vomiting a whole lot, having diarrhea, blood in the stools, um, those require further evaluation. And certainly seeing a gastroenterologist would be helpful to be able to discern as to what actually is the cause for their abdominal pain with these accompanying symptoms. And is there a place to get more information? Yes, um, siumed.org or 545 would be a way to get a hold of us. Awesome. Great information, Dr. Mzre Andrew, pediatric gastroenterologist. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute. The SIU Medicine Minute brought to you by SIU School of Medicine. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.